Hey everybody, welcome to Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video. And remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, instead we sell our digital courses down below. And every single dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. The best way to help out this channel and Mammoth Interactive is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. Get thousands of hours and hundreds of courses for a low, low price down below. We have a monthly option and a yearly option. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in the video. All right, welcome back everyone. In this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up a UI and how to change it um, due to uh, certain kinds of variables. Now this is actually fairly easy to do, but before we start this video, I wanna make sure that you like and subscribe. The more likes and subscribers we get, the more content we can make. So please smash that like button and subscribe. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to actually set up a heads up display. And in order to do that, we need to go to user interface and we're gonna set up the blueprint widget and we're just gonna call it heads up display for short. Okay, so let's hop into that here. And what I'm going to do is I'm basically just going to add in some text here, okay? And if we go to the text, simply drag that over here. And what you also wanna do is you also wanna set the anchor to wherever it is so, for example, if I set the anchor here and I push play, well, actually you can't really see it because well, we haven't really set it up yet. So, let's go ahead and let's set that up here. So, what I'm going to do is, uh, let's see, I'm going to go into um, the third person blueprint here. And I'm just going to go into the third person character. Um, well, maybe not the third person character. Let's go into the game mode instead. So, um, and that would be... Uh, I believe the starter content geometry, the content. Um, let's see, the blueprints. Ah, here, third person game mode. Okay, so what we need to do is go into the third person game mode here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up this heads up display. So I'm going to do, um, uh, we're, we're going to add in the event. And we're going to, um, uh, on, when the event starts, we're going to set up that heads up display. So let's right click and do event begin play. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to create widget. Okay, and the widget we're going to create is simply the heads up display. Okay, and we need to, um, let's see, can we. Uh, add to viewport. So we just need to add to viewport here. Now let's compile that here. And for the most part, that works. So let's take a look at that here. And sure enough, we have that working. Okay, so let's hop back into our HUD. And um, in this particular uh, widget here, and let's take a look at that anchor, like I was just mentioning here. So if we push play, and we resize this, you'll see that the the text stays at that side. If you change the anchor to somewhere else, it won't. Okay, so watch this right it disappears so generally what if you want to anchor this to a specific side um, then what you what you should do um, is uh, is anchor it to a specific part and um, and then if we anchor it to a specific part then uh, it will be uh, it will be um, and for some reason the the anchor has gone uh, ah there it is got closed for some reason. Uh, nevertheless, uh, if you anchor it to where it needs to be, uh, you'll just have a much better time here. Okay, let's go ahead and let's save everything here and compile it. It is important to compile things as, um, as things go on. So the next thing we need to do is we need to bind this to a variable. So let's go ahead and let's kind of set up our scene here. So what we're going to do is we're going to collect a few statues. And once we collect all the statues uh, in the game, it's going to uh, say we've collected all the statues. So what we need to do first is we need to um, basically set up the statue and then what we're going to do is we're going to um, allow it to um, uh, allow it to print the amount of statues you've collected to the screen. So first of all, let's go create a blueprint class. And we'll just make it of, of an actor and we'll call this statue. Okay, And let's hop in here and let's add in a static mesh and that static mesh is going to be a statue. Now, of course, I have the starter content um, already in here. And if you if you don't have the starter content, um, you can go ahead and add it or start a new project. And I like making my statues gold because it's 
actually quite nice. You can change any color you want though. But nevertheless, we have a statue here. So let's compile that here. And let's hop back and maybe drag a few of these out here. One, two, three, and four. And what we're going to do is we are going to, um, once we collect these, we are going to um, uh, count up the amount of statues first. So we need a variable to do that. So what I'm going to do is hop into my game mode here. And we're going to add in a variable. And we're going to call this statues collected. And this is just simply going to count the statues collected. What do we need to count it as? An integer. Let's go ahead and compile that here. Okay. So uh, once we have that there, uh, let's go back to our statue and let's um, let's go ahead and delete all this here and we're going to go to event hit. Okay. And um, what this is going to do is that if it's hit, we are going to destroy actor. Okay, and then we're just basically going to destroy itself here. Now, the other one we're going to have to cast to the third person game con uh, controller, but let's just set this up first. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to cast to a third person game mode. Okay, now this is really important here. Okay, and as a third person game mode, we're going to drag out and we're going to um, get the statues collected. So first of all, we're going to get it, then we are going to set it. Okay. So it's really important here. So what we're going to do is we're going to count the amount of statues collected. Okay. So how do we do that? Well, we get the statues collected. We're going to add an integer and we're just going to simply add one to it. Okay. And then we're going to add that here. Now we have to get the statues collected because if we get the second one, this is going to be two and so on and so forth. So if the first statue is collected, it's going to get zero, uh, zero, and then it's going to add one, so we have one statue collected. So the second statue, this is going to be, the statues collected is going to be one, we're going to add one, two, so on and so forth, okay? Now if we run this and compile it, you see we get a big error, and the, re the reason is we have to, we have to get the game mode here. This object here needs, uh, needs something here, so we're going to get game mode. Okay, and I believe that that works here. So let's satisfy that here. And sure enough, that does work. Um, now, the other thing that you should technically do is you should technically destroy the actor at the end. Okay, now in Unreal, this isn't going to be a problem, but as an old school game developer, you generally want to destroy the actor as the last thing you do. Because if you don't do that, there, there might be a reference to that actor. Um, and that reference, uh, if it's not there, it could crash the program. All right, so technically everything works here, but we need to um, add in the other, um, uh, what we need to do, so if we run this here, um, and we do this here, it technically works, but um, what happens here is that if um, if something else drops on it, um, then um, uh, what, what will happen then is it will also get destroyed. Um, the, uh, so let's just kind of make sure that we're counting this. So we're going to print string. And what string are we going to print? We're going to print the statues collected. So all I'm doing here is I'm just making sure that it works. And sure enough, you can see in the top left corner that it is indeed working here. Okay. So uh, let's take a look here. And um, I, think, um, I think that's good enough for one part tutorial. So I will continue this in the next tutorial. See you then.